Hey guys, ZRK is back with another video and I need to make three vital points before we go on to installing the Hoover OneTouch washing machine. Firstly, before you purchase a washing machine or any large appliance, please do check out different websites that may have vouchers or discount codes for Argos. You can check out different shopping websites that sell the same product as it might be cheaper but make sure it has the same amount of years of warranty or more. Right, second point I'd like to elaborate on is before you receive your washing machine from Argos for home delivery, make sure you are prepared for them to arrive and to carry it out through to your kitchen or utility room. Ask them to take off the packaging and the polystyrene and ask them to take it with them. Reason why I say is because there may be a possibility that a dent has occurred while on delivery. So literally it's damaged. Unfortunately, my first delivery I had from Argos was damaged and the two drivers were great in response to resolve the matter as they took photos and passed on all the information to their team for the washing machine to be replaced. And because it was the new year period and they were out of stock, I had to wait for at least two weeks to get my washing machine replaced. In this case, they gave me a compensation of £30 Argos gift card. So thanks to Argos for their good gesture. Right, final point I'd like to raise before we go through the installation process is to take your time to figure out and find out what washing machine suits your family. Check out the cost, check out the energy efficient ratings, the measurement of the appliance and the space of where you're going to place it because not all washing machines are standard sizes. Please note those three points before purchasing any large appliance. And not to forget, take the advantage of when they do have special offers on. Ring them up or go in store and reserve your item when the special offer is on and you would be happy to strike a good deal in time. Right, let's get started. Just a quick glimpse through the Hoover washing machine after unpackaging of what you will get. Right, inside the drum you will receive a package of instruction manuals, warranty details and a tool pack. Inside of the washing machine door you may see condensation but not to worry, this is normal as this happens through the manufacturer testing out the machine. Check if your drum circulates. The instructions are pretty straightforward to follow through. Images are there to help you out further so you won't have any problems. Two people are recommended of installing the washing machine as you can't do this by yourself. So inside the pack you will receive an information booklet about Hoover washing machine, a user manual guide, user chart of energy consumption, quick guide on the one touch app, waste pipe bracket, four plastic caps, four plastic fastening caps for the bottom cover, one inlet pipe and finally one bottom base cover. So once you have unpackaged your washing machine and you're happy with it, then it's time to proceed for the installation. Right, first remove the waste pipe and the cord from its attachment. Right, time to remove the transit bolts. For this you will need a 10 millimeter socket or spanner. Sometimes when removing the screw itself, it will come out without the rubber washer and transit bolt. So carefully unwind the rubber washer and the plastic transit bolt will fall down. This is how the transit bolts should come out. Right, the top right transit bolt, I had a slight problem. If the plastic bolt gets stuck and you can't nudge it out, use the nose plier to push it back and it will fall out. If you don't remove these transit bolts, your washing machine will dance around the kitchen and you may damage your floor. Now install the plastic cover caps on the four slots. At the bottom you will install a base cover with the fastening caps. On the diagram it will show you the easy installation process. Time to install the inlet pipe. Make sure you look at each end as they have different heads. Connect this head to your washing machine 
and the other end to your cold supply pipe. So once both ends are attached, open the blue tap for the water to release. You will see a slight gushing movement inside the pipe, meaning that it's ready. So leave the blue tap turned on. Now attach the washing machine waste pipe to your sink waste pipe. The plastic bracket, you can use it or without it, really depends on the situation on fitting the waste pipe. Right, time to test it out. Now don't be alarmed of the flashing LED lights as that's because of the camera and in reality it won't be flashing at all, it will be stationary. At the bottom of the machine you will find four legs which you can adjust for the stability. Right, this is a quick test spin at 1200 RPM. Personally myself, the Hoover washing machine in its black body and chrome door looks stunning. Its program are understandable to be applied, its correct settings for your clothes. So far I had no problems with the machine and the noise level is low. But it's quite obvious the more RPM it's spinning at, the more noise it will make. So once you're happy with the test, place your machine in your desired location. This is your detergent compartment. The dial knob is simple to use. It has a red marker on the top to adjust which program you will like. One of the best programs is the 14 minutes rapid wash. You can select the temperature and the spin on all washing functions. All the programs will show you the time remaining till the end of the cycle. The touchpad is simple to use, but not that great in sensitivity, but you may need to press twice, sometimes to adjust the temperature or the spin. Next, I will talk about the one touch feature. Right, I'm just going to quickly show you the Hoover one touch app on a demo account so you can briefly look and analyze its features. So once you downloaded the Hoover One Touch Wizard app, you will need to register, but in this case, we'll just use the demo account. Scroll and click on washer. Click on washer again. Click on One Touch. There are upgraded models of washing machines so that you can use Wi-Fi but for this one it's using NFC. The home screen will show you its run history. Different programs you can select which shows you more in detail. Well, the Clever Care function is a great platform to keep your machine in good nick. Clever Checkup finds out if there's any problems with the machine. Auto hygiene feature that cleans out the bad odors in the drum. Filter cleaning notifies you when to clean the filter. Your user manual and tips which takes you to their website. Right before using one touch, make sure your NFC is turned on and your phone does have the NFC functionality. To download the app, go to your Play Store and type in Hoover Wizard and simply download.
one of the best features I like is the KG mode. So this feature will automatically detect the load of clothes you have in your drum and consume the amount of water it needs for the wash. So basically if you have few clothes to wash, you will just use less water. So guys, I hope I have educated you on how to install a washing machine. And if you do get stuck on anything, always look on YouTube or call the manufacturer's support for help. Hey, you like my new washing machine? Wanna go for a spin? Get in then. Like, share and subscribe and I should catch you in the next review.